Hey all, Trip here. Now what you see in front of you right now is a 2021 Harley-Davidson Sportster 48. It's got the 1200cc engine in it. It's an Evo. This, my friends, is a great looking bike. I really like the lines to this. I like the chunky front tire. I like the design and the flow of the exhaust, the chrome with the black tips. It's just very low slung. A little peanut gas tank. It's got a nice mixture of black and chrome. Just a good looking bike. And today we're here at Cowboys Alamo Harley-Davidson and I'm going to do a test ride on this. It's probably going to be, I don't know, about 10 miles long, maybe 10, 12 minutes. So hang on and let's go for a ride. Initial impressions are it's a comfortable bike as far as seating position goes. The uh, controls are a little bit foot forward, which I like. I like the way uh, the brake is positioned. It's good for me. I'm 5'11", 230 pounds. And I like the shift pedal. At slow speed here, I am picking up a lot of road feel, which doesn't surprise me. This is a bar hopper, this little 48. It is not a cruiser, it is not a bagger, it is not a Dyna, it is not a soft tail. It is a little sporty bike, and I expect it to be so. So my other bikes, as you may or may not know, are a Harley Davidson 2015 Deluxe soft tail with a 103 twin cam, and I've got a 2009 Dyna Fat Bob with a 96 cubic inch twin cam. So that's kind of what I ride mostly and what I know. And I don't expect this bike to be anything like that. And I can tell you right now that it really isn't. It's slow speed right now. The ride is, I wouldn't say rough, but I've got more road feel. I can feel the little bumps, but that's to be expected. Now this thing has got a five speed transmission on it. I think I've got uh, four bikes in front of me and uh, one bike right behind, the sweeper on this uh, Harley Demo Days test ride. I do like the layout of the information cluster. I tell you, the bike's got nice pickup to it. it. Certainly isn't a heavy bike. And it's nimble. It turns well. Sounds relatively nice for a stock bike. I am in fifth gear now, and we're doing about 65 miles an hour. This bike has an analog speedometer on it, and I'm gonna to toggle through the trip meter here. It says I'm doing 2,900 at 60 miles an hour, which would probably compare to about uh, 2,200 uh, for a, my 103 twin cam or the 107 Milwaukee 8. I am getting some vibration in the foot pegs. Not so much in the, in the handlebars. There I'm getting some accelerating at 65. And uh, I'm getting the same in the, in the foot peg. It's uh, giving me a lot of vibration at 65 here. The wind isn't too bad. It's not pushing against me uh, all that much. The seat isn't bad it just to sit on it, but I can tell that it's thin. I think if I were to ride this bike any appreciable length of time, my butt would get sore pretty quick. I just went from 60 to about 75 in just a couple of seconds there, so it's got power. For this bike, obviously, you wouldn't want to put a windshield on it. It would certainly destroy the looks of it. I don't really think you need it because this is not a bike that you're going to ride long distances or take it on the interstate for any appreciable amount of time. This is a little around town bike. This is a cool bike. This is a, what I would call a young man's bike. Something I don't like are the low slung mirrors, and that's just a personal, a personal preference. I just don't like the position on them. I like them being up top and I like them sticking out a little bit so I've got a good field of view on them. Alright, doing about 75. 
So we're up to 3,600 RPM. So far, after just a few miles, I like the seating position on this bike, although I don't think I would care for it for long distance. A little bit too much road feel. Suspension, not as good as I would hope for a bike that I would want to purchase, but again, this is a small, nimble, sporty, zippy bike. And for what it is, I don't think that's, uh, that's crucial. For what we're doing right now, which is on a major thoroughfare doing about 55 miles an hour, the bike does very, very well. I'll get a chance here to work the brakes. Not bad. The bike does shift well, very smooth clutch. That I like. I don't think this bike needs a sixth gear. And for this 1200cc Evo engine, I don't know that it needs a six speed. Nice acceleration. It's peppy. Another thing I like is the height. I tend to prefer a lower slung or lower riding bike with a shorter seat height. And this bike is uh, just right for me in that aspect. Other positive is the styling. I like the way this bike looks. I like the wheels. I like the tires. It's got cast wheels on it. They're really nice. I was in fourth gear there and it's getting a little, little vibrating. You shift up to fifth and that, that goes away for the most part. And again, at the moment, I'm not quite doing 60 miles an hour. It's absolutely a gorgeous day out here in South Texas. They picked a good weekend to have demo days, that's for sure. As is typical with the Sportsters, there is no fuel gauge on this bike. And I've always kind of wondered about that. I don't know that I would want to own a bike without a fuel gauge. But I guess really all you have to do is unscrew that fuel cap. And the bike is so light, you can just waggle it around and tell how much fuel you got left. What I do like is that in the controls you've got the gear indicator and you've got RPMs, trip A, trip B, and a clock. I don't think you have range on here. Nope, don't have range for how many miles till empty you've got. That goes with not having a fuel indicator. You know, I'm riding a Harley and I've got the words to the song Help Me Rhonda stuck in my head. That just doesn't make sense. If any of you have any idea, <laughs> What causes a man to think of Help Me Rhonda by the Beach Boys while he's riding a Harley? Please put that in the comment section below. A lot cheaper than, a, uh, than going to shrink, I'd imagine. <laughs> now, coming back, we are going against the wind. And it's still not too bad as far as uh, wind against my chest. Earlier today, I rode the uh, Softail Standard, and the wind did push against me quite a bit. I don't really notice that is much here it could be the aerodynamics coming over the the headlight and the front wheel and the, the instrument gauge i don't know but you know it could also be that i'm going maybe five or ten miles an hour slower that's probably got something to do with it but no need to put a wood screen on this and you certainly wouldn't want to it would look dorky as hell Help me Rhonda, help, help me Rhonda. So let's kind of review here. What do I like about this bike? I think it's got plenty of power uh, for what it is. I like the styling, I like the seating position. I don't think it needs any more than five speeds. And it's a good zippy, peppy bike that handles well. It's got decent brakes, accelerates well. It seems to have good power all the way from the get-go up, uh, up to the mid 60s. The things I don't like, well, it's a it's a little bar hopper, and that's not my kind of bike. To be honest, I've been on this bike probably 10 miles by now, and I already feel my butt starting to go numb. It's got a good looking seat on it, but it's a it's a thin seat, and you know, you get that vibration uh, coming through at you. So I have a feeling uh, after about 25 miles or so, I would definitely have to get off this bike and not so much stretch my legs but uh, get the blood back in my butt get the circulation back in it but if i was a young guy and i wanted to own this bike just to bop around town to have fun 
to portray an image, to be a Harley owner, to go out and be cool and be seen, and uh, you know, it's probably a pretty decent bike. So all in all, if you lay your money down on this bike and you know what you're getting, you buy it for the right reasons, I think this would be a good little bike for you. If you bought this bike thinking, oh gee, I'm gonna ride long distance, I wanna trick it all out, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. If you're gonna try to turn this bike into something it isn't, I think you're gonna fail miserably and I think you're gonna be disappointed. Fit and finish on it is really nice. I like the color. I don't know the name of this color, but it's some sort of teal or aqua. And I like the tank badge, tank decal. I've never been a big fan of the round air cleaner, but it doesn't look that bad on this bike. I think on a soft tail or a Dyna, they look kind of goofy, but it doesn't look bad on this bike at all. The fenders, the wheels, the styling of this bike, all top notch in my book. And I gotta tell you, the mirrors, I like the way they look down like this. They're very attractive, but I certainly wouldn't want to ride this bike with those kind of mirrors. I just don't get the visibility of the traffic that I need. I hope you've enjoyed the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes with me. Maybe it's less than that. But this is Trip on Two Wheels, and I would like to ask you to give this video a like if, in fact, you did like it. And if this uh, sort of thing in general flips your switch, please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I am out of here. Ride safe and ride often, people. Woohoo!